BM is going to have a BM if we do not do Take a Picture by Filter. Not making fun of your name, BM, just uh, perks of having grandparents who were born in the 20s. You get vocabulary such as this from your visits. Anyways, uh, we're going to do this in two sections, the rhythm section and the lead section, but I kind of hesitate to call them that because they take up equal heft in the song, and really you can choose either one. It, it's kind of, you can't really do both, but they both stand alone, so that's fun. The rhythm section we will do first, um, and will also serve as your campfire version if you're playing an, an acoustic guitar. Grab an A chord, guitars tune normally, and grab yourself a nice clean tone. Now... Your A chord, which is the second fret of the D, G, and B strings, strum five. Take your ring finger off. That makes it an A suspended two, and that's where the song starts. You're going to strum down, up, down, up. Then you're going to put your ring finger back where it goes and go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. you only do that once. Twice. Now you're going to switch to a D chord. D, G string 2nd fret, E string 2nd fret, B string 3rd fret, and put your pinky finger on the E string 3rd fret. That's a D suspended 4, and you're going to do the same strumming pattern, and you're going to switch in the middle, just like we did with A. So D suspended 4. Take your pinky off. That is half the song for the rhythm guitar. long song and that's most of the song the chorus when he says do you want to take my picture because i won't remember is a pick your favorite strumming pattern it doesn't matter d b minor bm that's this is your chord bm all right so a string second fret d string fourth fret g string fourth fret b string third fret bar it with your pointer finger I guess I kept the strumming pattern the same. You can do whatever strumming pattern you want. Uh, and then G. So, A, D, B minor, G. If B minor's too much for you, do this workaround. Either play your power chord, A2, D4, G4. Now you have to mute the B and the E and the E strings so that we don't hear those because they're not the right notes. Anyways, that's good. Or do this workaround. Two, three, four, four. Notice it was pointer finger, middle finger, pinky finger, ring finger. Now you can't strum the E or the A strings because those aren't the right notes. So just four if you're doing that sort of mini B minor. That's B minor. It's enough to say it's B minor. It's not missing any notes. It's just not as beefy as it could be. And that's it for the rhythm guitar. One more time on the chorus. A, regular. D, B minor. G. All right, and I will be right back with the lead part, uh, so don't run off and get a pastrami sandwich or anything. That'd be bad. Who gets the reference? Ten million points to whoever gets the reference. The uh, Everything's made up and the points don't matter anyways. Be right back. All right, on with the lead part, the other part, the part B, the part two. Now that you're done with your pastrami sandwich, shame on you. We need to put our guitar into drop D. Your E string is now a low D. Get your tuner out and loosen it until it says D. There you go. Or go look up a video on how to do it. But now we get to do the coolest thing about guitar, which I'll show you when we get there. But here's what it's going to sound like. <laughs> Now you recognize 
it. So, D string, ninth fret, usual D string, not new low D string, the regular D string, and you're strumming A and D, and you're gonna strum the two and then hammer on to 11 on the D string. So, two more strums, two strums back on nine, and then one more on 11, and then you kind of finish it out. Da -dum -dum. Ba -da -da. So, you go up to 12 and back down to 11 so hammer strum 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 12 11 and then you're making an octave chord a G octave chord which makes sense because when we played our suspended four on the D here we were playing the E string third fret which is a G note so if we grab a G note on the 10th fret of the A string and another G note on the 12th fret of the G string at the same time, that's an octave chord, and we want to hear the low D string, this G note on the A string, and this G note on the G string, and that's it. So we've got D muted, B muted, and baby E muted, and now you can just strum away. And this isn't a G chord, actually. This is a D suspended four, because we have a D and the aforementioned G, and in context, given that's what the band has decided is happening. It's a G suspended four, not a strange G chord with a D. Actually, it is a G chord, because it's got a G and a D, which is a G chord, but not in this context. We're gonna go. And then down one fret. And that's the verse. You play a D, but you get to strum all the strings. Usually we just strum four from the D string. Now, since we're in drop D, all of these notes are now D chord. Just enjoy that for a second. I love that. Now, we're going to do a really fat power chord. It's going to be 999 nine, nine on the fat strings and then 11 on the G string, so it's a four string power chord, but it is a power chord nonetheless because it's got only roots and fifths in it. This is in place of our B minor. And then same shape, so pointer fingers getting 999, and my, I just like using my pinky. You could use your ring finger, that'd be fine too, uh, on the 11th fret of the G string. We're moving down to the 5th and 7th frets for the same shape, and this is our G chord. And that's the chorus. how you play this song. Those are all the pieces. Six minute song and uh, yeah, only two pieces per per guy. So four in total. That should be a quick learn. I hope you enjoyed that BM and uh, you're welcome. No, just kidding. That, that was a fun learn. Um, in with the bands from the 90s who are one word and a noun and begin with the letter F. Who can think of another that fit under those criteria? Thank you very much for being here. I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.